Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here, Jealous Podiatry. Now this is a very unfortunate case. Um, this is a, a 29 year old diabetic patient who up until recently was living in Cuba. They got that in the ACC, no? Um, back in Cuba, he had a uh, something fell on his right great toe, and apparently they let the guitar on him. They removed his toenail because of the injury, and removing the toenail apparently led to. That and probably some other contributory factors led to um, infection. And the combination of the infection plus the diabetes plus the vascular disease, you know, they, they went in and they took a little piece of the toe. And apparently the incision did not heal. So they went back in to take a little a little bit more and they ended up essentially amputating the toe. And they were not able to close it. The amputation defect was left open to heal. By what we call secondary intention. Let's take a look at the right first. So again, this is a 29-year-old diabetic patient who found out that he was diabetic in 2016. Now we have one big problem which we already spoke about. The patient smokes one pack of cigarettes, or almost a day, for the last 15 years. So he's been smoking since he was 14 or 15 years of age in Cuba. So, you know, let's take a look at the bottom of the foot as well. No, I did the So what, what we see here is we, we have a very large callus underneath the first metatarsal head. We have two other ones underneath the fourth and the fifth. And these are called transfer lesions because of this. You know, it's been a long time since I've seen such a young patient with diabetes with such severe vascular disease. I want you guys to see something striking. I want, I want, is that I want you to come over here. Okay, now, I want everyone to look at his left foot. Look at all of the redness. Okay, you see all this redness? By the way, this is from the, we already numbed the toe. He has a, a he also has a paronychia, which we're going to take care of uh, now as well. But at first glance, we look at the foot. It's all of the toes are red. Now, I want you guys to see something. I'm tilting the patient back. Okay, we'll wait about maybe 20 seconds or so. And the redness of the lesser toes is disappearing. A little bit on the gray toe as well. Dr. Wagner, what does that mean? You see, all, all of it is gone. A little residual, but 
I would say 90% of it is, is all gone. If the redness was still there, it would mean that the patient has infection, cellulitis. But what I think is happening here is until proven otherwise, let's bring it back down now. This patient at 29 years of age with the robust diabetes and the robust you know, the severe vascular disease. We're setting ourselves up here, unfortunately, for a complete catastrophe. And I already spoke to the patient about this. Smoking one pack of cigarettes a day, the diabetes, again, he did not know. For all, in, you know, for all we know, he may have been diabetic since he was... 10 years old, and he never knew it. Right? So I, they, he just told me again that he, he that, you know, in Cuba, they, they never, they never worked him up for diabetes. So several years ago, that's when they found out that he was diabetic. extremely unfortunate this one this one really this case has really really hit me hard the patient will be seeing our good friend um, the interventional radiologist the vascular specialist the plumber because he needs to be seen immediately to see exactly what is going on in respect to the vascular supply to the left foot. Now, let's talk about the great toe. Vamos a moverte un poquito. Ah, eh, que le... Ok, muchas gracias. Extremely unfortunate. A month ago, uh, uh, prior to January 1st, the patient had no insurance. January 1st, Patient has insurance. He decided to trim his own toenails. Unfortunately, as everyone, this right there, he took a little. Let me just clear that. There we go. He, by mistake, he cut himself. He didn't really realize what exactly happened at the time. Then realized there was infection couple weeks later so then he had to go to his primary to get a referral to eventually make it here three weeks later so the patient is currently on antibiotics but he has what well, we're gonna go ahead and do on both sides we're gonna remove these offending nail plates on this side this is extremely unfortunate ladies and gentlemen look look an abscess Scott can we see that Scott Pus. I would not be surprised. Let's take a look at this side as well. Look at the size of this.
My only concern, I just want to be very clear, I'll, I'll tell everyone now. This nail's basically just It's all brittle. It's just basically melted away completely and totally. There we go. So, let me cut this a little bit here. Let's see if there's, there may be a collection underneath here. Yeah, this is loose. <sighs> My only concern, you know, just like on the other foot, you know, Dr. Wagner, why not remove the nail? Right, it's it is loose. See? You see that? But my only concern is that he may not he may not have enough blood supply to heal even the removal of the nail plate. Which, let's go back a couple of years, that's exactly what transpired on the right. Even though he did have the injury, they removed the nail plate and that was basically just the beginning of the entire, you know, snowball effect. moment of truth, I want to also do something now is, he's 29 years old, there's minimal bleeding, usually we see a lot of blood, come close, let's see, let's see if we get a, a little trickle here. Sorry. Marginal. Severe. Severe microvascular disease. Just like I told him before, if he was my brother, what would I say? In respect to the diabetes, we have to definitely get that under control, whatever it takes. In respect to the smoking, I already told him, if you continue to smoke, you will lose your legs. If you stop now, your life will definitely change for the better. We can only do so much. But again, it's been a very, very long time since I see a 29-year-old 
diabetic patient with such a robust case of you know the deadly dual combo of diabetes and vascular disease this is you know my heart breaks for this young gentleman you know people might be saying well you know he chose you know he's choosing to smoke i i understand that element he's choosing to smoke he can stop but it i still it does affect me just because he's so young he's already lost one you know the right great toe and now you know the left great toe is at risk i'm gonna see him back in two days to keep a close eye uh, to keep a close eye on the clinical president before the weekend I will keep everyone afloat on this patient's progress. Okay.